Good morning, everybody. Saturday morning story time with your girl BC. And I have my sleepy face on today. And it's Saturday and I'm in Massachusetts. I was south and I just started driving north and then I just kept driving north. And uh, life has a way of um, shifting in the most unexpected ways. So with that said, it's important to tell everybody how much you really love them right now. Don't wait for later. Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one above you? You fill my heart with gladness, take away all my sadness, ease my troubles, that's what you do. For the morning sun and all its glory, Greets the day with hope and comfort too. But you fill my life with laughter, and somehow you make it better. You ease my troubles, that's what you do. And there's a love that's divine, and it's yours and it's mine, like the sun. And at the end of the day, hey. Oh, we should give thanks and praise to the one, to the one. Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one above you? Because you fill my life with gladness, take away my sadness, and ease my troubles, that's what you do. <laughs> Yay. I love you guys. Thanks for being here this Saturday morning. And on that tender, tender note, the book that I'm going to read today is called The Goodbye Book. And yes, it's inverted. We're just going to have to deal with it again like we usually do. <laughs> but I'm visiting my nieces and I'm up here in Massachusetts again and I'm adulting and uh, they have a really good book collection and um, they just lost their grandmother. And I just, and my family just lost um, my uncle's wife. And there has been a lot of loss everywhere. And you know, I mentioned the shift that I feel like has been happening and there's just loss happening in all sorts of places. But there's also a gain, you know, it's severing all the old to make room for the new growth. Um, and so I found this book that I think was given to them because of the loss of their grandmother. And I just want to read the goodbye book to all the big kids out there. Because it's never easy to say goodbye. The goodbye book. It's hard to say goodbye to someone. You might not know what to feel. You might be very sad. You might be very mad. You might not feel like talking to anyone. You might just feel like hiding. Things might not seem fun anymore. You might not feel like eating. You might not feel like sleeping. You might try to stop thinking about it. You might pretend it didn't happen. You might be confused. But eventually, you'll start to feel better. You'll remember how you laughed. You'll remember all the fun you had. You'll have days when you feel up and days when you feel down. You'll remember all the special times. 
You'll remember everything you learn together. You might feel like talking to someone. You might even feel like drawing a picture. You might wonder where they went or what they are doing now. Most of all, you'll remember how much you love and miss them. You'll go on and try and be brave. And you'll remember that they will always be someone to love you, that there will always be someone to love you and hold you tight. We all get sad when we say goodbye to someone we love. Always try to remember all the happy times you shared together. The end. Love, Todd. Of all my books, this was the hardest to write because it's never easy to say goodbye. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Life is all about letting go and appreciating and being present with while you still have the time, while we're still breathing, while we're still here. So thank you for giving me your time and your heart and soul this morning. I love you guys. Bye.